So I'll just, what's the idea about what C.J. Allen was able to do on Saturday and just the way he was able to play with you guys? Uh, really how he was just trusting his instincts and flying around, you know, for a guy that, you know, Small. I see a couple of guys from Paul Bay County head to Tennessee. I was wondering if Tennessee was very much involved in your recruitment at all. Oh, uh, like Sadian? I seen a couple of guys from Paul Bay County go to Tennessee. I was wondering if Tennessee mm-hmm. was uh, heavy on your recruitment. Yeah, yeah, there was. Smile, I know you're facing a Tennessee team with a really good run game, three different guys. Um, how do you overall prepare for a strong running game, let alone three different players that can all have an impact in a game? Um, you know, with the three different players that can have an impact, that's kind of each got to condition, I feel like, you know. And then um, how you prepare, just making sure you tackle good all practice, um, striking blocks, just playing physical throughout the week in practice so it carries over to the game. Getting pretty deep in your career now. Uh, have you formed many opinions like, uh, you know, going to play at Tennessee? You know, what's tough there? What do you like about it? That kind of stuff. Are you is this a place you look forward to going? Uh, yeah. Um, I only haven't been up there once my freshman year. Uh, I wouldn't. I wasn't really playing too much back then. But just like seeing the environment, um, it's definitely like a rowdy, you know, rocky environment. So uh, I've been excited to go back up there. Yeah, going off of Chip's question, as someone who has been to Neyland and experienced the game day atmosphere, what advice have you given to the true freshman linebackers on what to expect of the environment? Uh, you know, we're really on the defensive side of the ball. So it's like, it's different. Whereas like we play offense, it would be like really loud and chaotic. Mm-hmm. But on the defensive side, you know, it's kind of quiet for their offense. So we're just going to be able to communicate and stuff. So I feel like it's not too much of a, it's not really too much of a change on defense, I feel like versus if we were on offense. As Zion was talking about C.J. Allen, he compared him to Nick Kobe Dean in terms of his note-taking of film and knowing all the checks and stuff. Just what have you seen from him and if that's a fair comparison for C.J. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really want to compare nobody to nobody because then I kind of like, like leaves up real high expectations. But uh, yeah. Um, he do remind me a lot of Nicobe, just like even like how he runs and stuff like that, and like how he moves around. It kind of like reminds me how Nicobe ran. So yeah, um, but yeah, CJ's real smart though. You know, he takes it real serious, like his preparation. I know not directly your assignment, but Tennessee's had a lot of receivers go down. It feels like Squirrel Wild is really one of those guys that have been consistent. How do you deal with a receiving core that? might be bringing in a lot of new guys that uh, despite a whole season of tape, you haven't really gotten to see too much in that Tennessee offense. Uh, with the fact that we haven't been able to see a lot, um, I mean, kind of just being able to adapt, you know, adapt on the fly and just really uh, just play your game. You guys are going up against a couple high tempo offenses in a row and played a big game on Saturday. I was wondering what nutrition and recovery is like on defense over the weekend after you finish a game like that. Are you guys eating a lot? Is it a lot more rest? What does it look like after a game, after you're running around a lot in high tempo offense? Uh, it kind of just depends on the person, like when it comes to eating. Like if you're one of those guys that kind of like got to maintain your weight or got like, uh, like you, you get too big uh, throughout the season, um, I don't know about really eating a lot. But uh, for me, yeah, I probably would eat a lot after the game. And then um, definitely like getting in the cold tub or the cryo chamber, just like trying to get my legs back. With guys like Pop going down and even Xavier Missouri stepping away for a little bit, you know, it feels like you're kind of the last of that group and the last of the experience group being around. Um, how has it felt to really kind of be that that one leader, you know, making sure you're calling plays and, and focusing on getting everybody set and, and really the, the, the technical de- details of running that defense? Uh, in the linebacker room, uh, like no matter who's out there, it's never going to be just one person like calling the defense. Like whenever Pop was out there, it was me and Pop like taking care of the halves of the fields. And then with me and CJ in there, or whenever it's me and Raylan in there, it's like I take care of this half, he take care of that half. So it was never just going to be one person just calling the whole defense.
the way that Tennessee's offense is so spread out across the field, can you talk about what it's like defending the run and what's different there? Uh, we probably got to um, defend the run. Uh, whenever it's so split out, it's kind of hard for the DBs to have an a impact. So, you know, kind of just got to strike blocks. Uh, kind of definitely got to just strike, strike and get off blocks. You know, be able to do more or less. Any more questions for Smile? All right, Smile. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Smile. Thank you.